on board this catamaran with Rose over here. <laughs> she is our guide for today. We'll be doing some snorkeling, exploring this beautiful reef called Molchan. It's uh, teeming with marine life. Of course, we are in this beautiful country of Belize where everything goes slow and chill. So join us, we'll be exploring more of this island or rather this reef and showing you more of this magnificent marine creatures. All right, see you in a bit or see you underwater. The time has come to say goodbye to our favorite island town of San Pedro, which gave us three days of unforgettable and amazing stay. But the Belize adventure is not ending here. In fact, we're only about to embark on a sailing adventure today. But first, breakfast! We made sure not to leave the town of San Pedro without trying out their best breakfast place. That is Estelle's by the Sea with my newfound favorite, Belize's Fried Jack. And now we're off to sailing after departing from the Excite Sailing Adventure Dock in San Pedro, and here's our today's itinerary. After briefing, we shared some light moments with our fellow tourists and the amazing staffs of Excite Belize. A lot of people don't know what I I didn't know. I thought it was really uh, Rose. Roselli. 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 Are you going to help me with uh, the footage later? Yeah, I'm gonna help you on. Okay, yes, yes. It's gonna be on a on the vlog. Um, when I was in kindergarten, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, um, oh gosh, that's a good question. The last time I did was in the Philippines, so this was like what three years ago. So how is it? It's pretty awesome. I mean, we got seven thousand islands. How much? Seven thousand six hundred twenty-one. Holy Yes, but. You know, like every country is different. This one is teeming with nurse sharks, manta rays. In the Philippines, we have whale sharks. Oh, whale sharks. So, so it's Who's good. your favorite boxer? Um, I wonder who. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> oh gosh, we were, we were gonna take Canelo, man. <laughs> no, Mayweather. Mayweather. <laughs> All right, so we have made it here. What's this place? Holchan. What does it? What does it mean? The word Holchan. A narrow? Oh, it's a narrow. In, in what language? Uh, Maya. Maya. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. I'm ready to jump. Should we jump now or what? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'll wait for you guys in the water. Okay. Oh. Wow. It's pretty awesome, man. I see grasses. Do you guys have a manatee around here? Because there's a lot of grasses. Um, yeah, that's part of grass. And we have like manatee grass um, here in this area. Uh huh. Not just in the city, it's not like Yeah. What about a big tea cocker? Yeah, okay. I'll keep all my fingers crossed. <laughs> Led by our snorkeling guide Rose, we explored the different portions of Holtan. But just a few minutes into snorkeling, we were already welcomed by the resident green turtle, who seemed to be very comfortable with our presence.
And look, here's another one. And then we left the grass area and started exploring the coral reefs. We were mesmerized to see the place teeming with vibrant living corals and we made sure not to touch any of them. And, oh wow, this is our first sighting of their infamous nurse shark. Here's an elusive eagle ray. A stingray. Another turtle. And another one again. Woo! This place is really teeming with marine life. And now, time to head back to our boat, and off to another stop. Our next stop is so epic, it deserves its own vlog. Don't forget to check out our close encounter with the Nurse Sharks of Belize. That's episode number 12, and second in our Belize series. After that back-to-back -back snorkeling activities, we spent our time lounging and relaxing on the catamaran, enjoying Excites Belize, sumptuous food, and unlimited drinks. Uh, we're about to land to our final stop, which is the Coco King Beach here at King Walker. We will be having lunch and after that we'll be crossing the channel. It is located on the north side of the split, or the channel separating the two sections of Key Cocker. So Chris, what is this uh, place we're going to right now? This is known as Coco King. It's a private beach. Of course, we won't let this opportunity pass without trying out the local offerings at the local restaurant. And oh boy, I'm glad we did. Just check out the food that we ordered. Food is here. We got a salad. And what do you have for me? Calamari. Nice. Awesome, my friend. Thank you. To top it all, we got to enjoy this view during our sumptuous meal. Ah, pure Belize.
we went back to the dock to relax and spend one last quality time with the sailing gang. So we are with the amazing crew and our new friend over here. We're just chilling at the dock, ending our day. You guys are amazing, guys. Our, we cannot express how amazing we are for you guys. Imagine, like, great people, nice destination. What more can you ask for? And great weather, too. Gosh. Like, it wasn't too sunny that it will be burned, and it's not too cloudy that it is not rain. You know? Just perfect. Captain, what does the word Belize mean? <laughs> I get nervous when they're on the right. video. <laughs> so it's a Mayan word meaning Malix. Malix is like holy waters. And then from there, you get like changing names throughout the years. Oh. You know, the way it was spelled like B-E-I-X. Uh -huh. And then some people would use the Malix. I noticed that. Belize, Belize, you know, and then eventually changed to Belize. The 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 Indians use a lot of X's because like in in Mexico you go to different towns that uses like like the Indian names they have X's in the word and I was like how do you read that yeah, it's, uh, shit, shit, shit. right I'm is like spit up the wheel. Finally, it was time to bid our newfound friends goodbye as we board our boat transfer to Iguana Reef Inn, our beautiful home in the Key Cocker, while the catamaran and its crew heads back to San Pedro. It was a day filled with adventure, sumptuous meal, overflowing drink, and fun memories that we will surely cherish for a lifetime. Truly unbelievable. Well, that one's fun.